Hi friends and subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniel Rosal and this channel focuses on life on the ground here in Jerusalem and Israel. From today there are about 30 days to go until the municipal elections take place throughout Israel and here in Jerusalem. Sukkot is also about to start around Jerusalem which is always one of my favourite times of the year. So I thought I'd drop in with a few more miscellaneous updates from the campaign trail. Now that the official date for declaring one's candidacy for the elections has come and gone, we're left with a somewhat discombobulated playing field of different factions vying for power in Jerusalem City Hall. On the left of the political spectrum we have an alliance made up of Yossi Havilio, Laura Warden and others. These two are grizzled local politicians who have been campaigning for years for ways to make Jerusalem more moderate and tolerant. In the sort of middle of the political spectrum is Hitorarut under the leadership of Chairman Adjur Schwartz. I'll get around to translating the Hitorarut platform sometime soon. It's worthy of scrutiny and includes aspects touching upon economics, pluralism and even the nightlife of Jerusalem. There's also a religious list under the leadership of Hagit Moshe, which has drawn attention among English speakers because it includes a well-known community rabbi. Her list is called Mafdal Atzionut Achadash, which means in English, the New Zionist Movement. Moshe herself is currently a deputy mayor of Jerusalem, but her list seeks to bring several first-timers into the fold of Jerusalem politics. For religious Jerusalemites who want somebody to defend their interests, but who are also turned off by the naked extremism of Aryeh King, this seems like the likely vote clincher. On the hard right of the political spectrum is Deputy Mayor Aryeh King, who, after much anticipation, finally released his political list of running mates. The official name of the list is Meuchadim im Aryeh King, which translates to We are uniting with Aryeh King. I pointed out previously the irony of this particular choice of name, given that King's platform is undoubtedly the most divisive of anybody running in these elections. So far, he's threatened to clamp down on Shabbat violators in the first station complex, brought Hitoru to court for operating a minibus on Shabbat as an electoral favour and won the case, and has also vowed to cut funding to an LGBT centre. So who exactly King is planning on uniting through his campaign is really anybody's guess. I'm wary of paying too much attention to Arya King's campaign because doing so feels like playing into the desired effect of his provocatory rabble-rousing. But as it's really the most colourful of the various campaigns mounted to date, let me just jot down a couple of quick observations. The first of those is that King yesterday succeeded in legally quashing Hitor Root's Shabbat bus escapade to Tel Aviv. There's no public transport between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv on Shabbat, and as a sort of election gimmick, Kitor Root for the past month or so has been operating a free minibus. Despite the fact that the bus service consisted of providing transport for literally only a couple of dozen Jerusalemites, it drew the ire of King, who is running on an explicitly national religious platform. He argued against the bus on the basis that it constituted a prohibited gift to the electorate in contravention of Israel's national electioneering laws, and it seems like he managed to convince the judge enough to grant him an injunction preventing the running of the bus service. So goodbye Hitor Root Shabbat minibus which has now officially and legally been shut down. The second and kind of weirder development is that King tweeted recently about a meeting he appears to have held in his office with former convicted spy Jonathan Pollard. Given that Pollard betrayed Israeli state secrets, he's the rather polarizing figure here. Nevertheless, after recently flaunting the endorsement to his campaign of Israeli MMA fighter Haim Ghazali, who claimed that Jews protesting the government in New York are the leading global cause of anti-Semitism, King has chosen to wheel out another surprising and rather polarizing endorsee. As King has already declared his list, I'm not sure what surprise announcement he may be setting the stage for. Perhaps Pollard is preparing to issue an official statement supporting his campaign. I really have no idea. As ever, I'm waiting for the negative campaigning and splintering to reach its natural conclusion, and I'm eagerly awaiting the putting forward of constructive ideas for the future of Jerusalem from really any of the parties who are running for office. Until the next update, and please subscribe if you'd like to receive more videos from me.